You are not the first person to ask me this, and I've thought long and hard about my answer to this question. Um, so the question is basically, could you do like a week of you using cursor? Multiple people have asked me to use, asked for my opinions, or asked me to try out using uh, AI-powered editors or AI code editing, um, code editing with an LLM backend, that kind of a thing. Um, I have so many different thoughts, but I'll kind of just use your comment um, as a way of a jump off point. Um, I think your comment's totally legit. Like you talk about your experience with it and your background and everything. And like, I think that's awesome. I think that's super cool. I will tell you on a personal level, there's a couple things going on here. Um, first things first, the obvious one, cursor specifically, uh, you download it and then you have to sign in to use it. I just, I, I, on like a principled standpoint, I don't think I could use a text editor that I have to log into. However, hold on, pause. I know that's a straw man argument. I know that. The reason I say it's a straw man argument is because I can download Cursor and I can use it without logging in. I can bypass those prompts. I just can't use the AI features and they explicitly state that's because they don't want to have abuse of their backend. So by signing in, they can, you know, the people aren't using their AI backend and potentially abusing it. I understand that. So I can use Cursor without logging in. I just won't have access to the AI backend stuff, which kind of renders it useless. But so I don't, so I don't, I don't want to do a straw man here. Like, I think it's really cool that Cursor did that. I can use their editor without having to log in. Hey, I think that's great. Like, I'm all for that. Uh, but then I don't get the main feature of it. So that's kind of, I think, the point of the question is not just for me to use Cursor as an editor, but use an AI-powered editor. Um, I think that's the spirit of the question. On to my next point. Um, I am the type of guy who, as fancy as I want to get with my editor, is syntax highlighting. Like, that's it. Um, when my editor starts doing things like even running it through like a, a language uh, server protocol, you know, where it shows like syntax errors and stuff in your editor. I hate that. I hate that. I I hate autocomplete my editor. I find it incredibly distracting. Like I'm one step away from finding syntax highlighting to be distracting, to, distracting, to be honest. Like I just want a text editor that gets out of my way so I can take what's in my brain and put it to the screen. Um I, I hate autocomplete. I hate when it starts telling me like, oh, this syntax is incorrect or you have an open and closed parenthesis here or whatever. Um, I hate that. I didn't, I didn't know why. I just put a little thumbs up there. That's so dumb. Um, so I get, I, I go and turn those features off. I think if I had anything else impeding my ability to write code, I would actually just hate it. Um, and then philosophically, just my thoughts on using AI and coding. Um, I'm not a big fan of it. I'm going to run out of time on this reel to explain it. Um, I've done longer videos on my YouTube. I would say head over there and find out my real feelings about using AI and programming.